Hello all of you awesome people out there and welcome back to another super awesome and mega wicked cool video done by myself, Data Center here. And in this video, I've basically decided to try and do a few data center relic sites in high security space to see how much money we can make there because I've been running them a lot recently. I am still using my Legion, which for some reason I've cloaked up even though I'm in high sec. Um, so I use my Legion, which I use for the sleeper sites and it has exactly the same fit on it, even though the fit's not really too important since we're in high sec, we don't really need to be able to defend ourselves too much. And I really doubt we're going to run into any major NPCs, which are going to jump try and take us out so any ship should really be able to do these now i've actually found a really good system here i've got three data sites one at level two one at level two one at level four and a relic site at level one so i think for a high sec system to have like this many sites in here uh, i think it's quite good so i'm just going to be running all these in one site to see how we get on so um i'll try and keep the video as interesting as possible i'm just going to start off with the relic site we'll get that one out of the way and um, yeah, we'll take it from there. So ancient ruins stand silent and still in the cold vacuum of space. A sober reminder of times long since past. A relic analyzer module will be vital in gaining a deeper understanding of the numerous artifacts located here and finding something of value amongst the rubble. Don't know why I did that bit at the end, I'm trying to be dramatic, but <laughs> I didn't really go too well. Uh, so yeah, the fit, in case you haven't seen it, I will link it in the description down below. But the important thing to look at here is I actually have a frost line analyzer, which allows me to do data and relic sites at the same time, or with the same module rather than taking up two slots. Obviously, the, bo the ship is bonus towards um, analyzing and stuff with the subsystems I've got on. So all I need to do is simply orbit one of these at, say, a thousand. Actually use me prop once to get there at some point. Lock it up. Lock it up. There we go. And uh, hit this button to actually start the hacks. Now, when it comes to high sex stuff, you're not really going to be getting too much money. So I don't think you're going to be making mega money. Or at least in my experience, you're not going to be making mega money. Unless you run into a ghost site or possibly one of the... I'm just going to call them like complicated sites where... So there's challenges, there's like mines, there's terminals to hack to open up different areas. I forget what those sites are called, but they're kind of few and far between. If you run into one of them in high sector, you might be getting um, a bit more money. But the normal sites like this one, you know, the loot you're going to be getting is kind of a bit there. Um, so in case you don't know how to hack, basically we start off in one corner and you basically need to make your way across the board, clicking these nodes. And the numbers represent how far away we are from anything useful. So that could be the system core, which is what we're actually looking for. Or it could be like a helpful little, like... Um, I'm gonna call them like boosts, which well, Let's see if I can find one actually just to show you now. Maybe not um, Damn it <laughs> the boost they kind of give you like you know, the, they'll increase your um, to your health and stuff along the way So what you need to do is basically just what I've done there Just basically navigate around so you find the core and take it out So we've got 30k from that one, which obviously isn't brilliant So I'm just gonna quickly work my way through the rest of them now and uh, we'll come back once I finish this site so there we go, that's the last of the loop from the level 1 relic site, and as you can tell it wasn't really very good, it was just kind of, well very poor, but uh, that's kind of to be expected from a level 1 high sex site. So what we're going to do now is we're going to jump into the level 2, uh, these are both the same, so we'll just jump into this one here, and we'll see if a level 2 holds any more uh, treasure inside. Okay, so here we are. So. Again, in case you don't know, the relic and data sites, they basically play out exactly the same. The only difference being you need a different module to actually hack the um, hack these nodes. Unless you're like me and use this frost line one, in which case you can do both with the same module. So we're going to do exactly the same. The game will play out, or the game, mini game, kind of as I call it, uh, will play out exactly the same with this grid here. And we still need to find uh, the core. So let's see. If these are actually any more difficult, so we're four away, four away, three, two, hit a block, let's go round that to begin with. Three, two, one, one. Okay, so these are basically something's hidden underneath it. It could be something to assist you. It could be like a, a roadblock basically to try and stop you. This is one of the tools that will help you actually complete the sites. Uh, this one in particular, if you click on it, it'll actually give you some more health back because these things take away health uh, every time you, well, click on them to get rid of them. So simply tap it. And as you can see, our health's going up in the corner. But what we're looking for now, like I said, is just the, the data core, which should, in theory, be around here somewhere. There it is. Take that out, and let's have a look what we got from the first module. So we're a bit better now. Level 2, the first one had 893 mil, so we're nearly up to 1 mil um, per container. So I'm just going to complete the rest of these. It's going to be a very short video, this one, so I don't really know what to say about high-sex sites. I mean, they're 
quite easy if you're a brand new, brand new, brand new player and want to get into exploration, this is probably what you'll be starting at. Um, so I'll hack the rest of these and then we'll move on to the next level two, um, which I might just fast forward through as well. And then we'll go to the level four, because to be honest, I don't really know what a level four site in high sec uh, is going to be. I can imagine it's maybe a ghost site, so they class as level fours, or maybe one of those ones I was talking about, which has like missions and stuff inside. I don't quite know, uh, but we'll find out anyway, so we'll be right back. And from the last one, we got another 551k, so it's about one and a half mil from that one. I mean, this is all estimated, but by the time, uh, by the time you actually get it back to, to your markets, it might be a little bit different. So let's go for the other level two one and uh, see what we get there. I'm not even going to attempt to read this last time I gave up on the last one. If you want to read it, it's, uh, it's there. Just simply pause it and have a flick through. It's nothing important anyway. All right, so that's the last container. And to be honest, these didn't seem any more difficult than the other level two site, but I got a lot more loot from this, probably about three, four uh, mil estimated. So obviously can vary up and down depending on the site you've run in. So we have one left, which is the, why is this site not saying it's completed? Oh, there we go. Uh, we have one left, which is the, can I get the info for this? No, I can simply warp to it. The local Garista backup, which is the level four. So I'm not quite sure what to expect here from a level four. Um, same kind of description here. It says we need a data analyzer, but obviously frost line. I'm going to keep raving about this thing. So I absolutely love it. Freeze up a mid slot. And um, yeah, let's go in here and see what we have. It's the exact same description as the other two data sites. So to me, it doesn't sound like a ghost site because that usually gives you something different. It like kind of warns you that you've got limbs at amount of time. Um, maybe we're just gonna get better loot from this one or maybe it's gonna be a little bit difficult to hack. Not quite sure, we'll soon find out. So give me a few minutes and we'll hack this one as well. And there we go, that's the last one popped and the loot being about 560 mil. So I actually earned less from this site than the other one. So was it a little bit more difficult? Maybe I think the grid might have been a bit larger, but other than that, to be honest, it seemed um, pretty normal, to be honest. So that is a high sec. Let's walk to this. Oh, I don't know why I'm moving because I'm, I'm not exactly in to a dangerous place, but. Um, yes, that's high sec data and relic sites. It's just a random system I was going through. I was actually looking for a wormhole, and then I realized that this system actually had like four sites inside, and I thought, hey. Been meaning to do this for a while anyway, just see how much we can get from like a random system. Uh, I mean, I didn't clock what time I started, so I can't really give you an estimated price per hour, but it kind of varies anyway, depending on how often you find the sites and which sites you find. Um, but on average, you know, there, there is a little bit of money to be made. Maybe an hour you could make ooh, anything from about five mil if you're unlucky up to say 20 mil, maybe even more if you're lucky enough to get like a ghost site or find like a really special um special site to run so i'm just gonna leave it at that really if you have any questions or anything then please let me know in the comments down below if i'm doing anything wrong uh, obviously let me know as well so if you did like this video then please hit the like button down below if you didn't then just hit the dislike button i'll be sad but i'll live <laughs> if you haven't already then hit the subscribe button as well i am so close to a thousand subscribers i'll be so happy when i get there plus you'll see loads more videos and just like this one all around eve and how to do things and entertaining things and all that good stuff um so yeah don't forget to subscribe other than that stay awesome and i'll see you right here very soon in another video bye bye but my fit, like I said, is kind of designed to blow these things up at range like this and then go after the boxes after. And I have tried this a few times because I've tried to record this a few times, but something keeps happening. Like, what you're going to want to do is check your D scan, see if there's anything else about you want to set to the maximum and also 360. And then next, you want to actually bookmark your exit. So I'm simply going to save the